everyone, welcome back to my channel and another random video. Uh, as you can see, I have a mechanical keyboard. Yeah, I fell down the uh, mechanical keyboard YouTube rabbit hole recently, and uh, I decided to take the plunge and buy one for myself. Um, I just really like the clicky clack sound. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but I just really, really like it. Um, and I really like the customization options that are available for a lot of mechanical keyboards. I think that's really neat. Um, so yeah, took the plunge and bought this one. This is the Phantom 104, uh, Techware Phantom 104. Um, as you can see, I went with the red switches. I believe red, blue, and brown are what's available for this keyboard. Um, just going by sound tests that other YouTubers had done, had done I really liked the red. And uh, that continues to be true. I really like the sound and the feel of the red. So definitely don't regret that. I really like it. Um, this keyboard uh, was pretty well reviewed by several uh, YouTubers um, as being a pretty solid uh, keyboard, uh, especially for its price point. I paid about 40 for it on Amazon uh, at the time that I purchased it. I will link it down below. Um, and I believe that the accompanying shroud uh, that I will unbox in a moment was 15 or 16, something like that. Um, so not too bad, all things considered. Uh, yeah, it's a really... So far, it's been a really nice keyboard. I like how it feels. I like how it functions. Um, and I, yeah, I definitely would agree with the sentiment that it's, you know, a pretty decent uh, keyboard for its price point. It's hot swappable. You don't have to worry about soldering uh, or desoldering if you want to change the switches at any point, which is great. Because um, that's, you know, it's more equipment that you have to buy. It's more stuff you have to learn. And so I like the simple functionality of hot swappable uh, in case that's something I want to do in the future. At the moment, I'm not super fussed about the switches. Maybe I will be eventually, but right now that's just not my priority. Um, as you can see here, like I mentioned before, there is an optional shroud that you can get for this keyboard. And it was one of the selling points for me for this, to be honest. I really like the potential versatility of that, of being maybe have a couple that I can rotate between that have different designs or stickers or painting or whatever on it. Um, so yeah, that was definitely a selling point for me. And as you can see, like, it's got some pretty decent magnets in there. It sticks on. Um, and what I really liked about this particular keyboard and the shroud that comes with it, as you can see, is that it really completely covers any part of the keyboard that isn't keys, for the most part, that's visible on top. And I really liked that. I really liked that I could really customize the shroud, uh, to completely change the look of the keyboard. Um, without having to do too much to deconstruct the keyboard or anything. So I thought that was really nice, and that was definitely a selling point for me. And here you can see it plugged in and ready to go. It uh, The RGB is pretty nice. It's, you can adjust the brightness and the intensity of it. You can also adjust the colors or how, if you want to keep it on a rainbow effect, you can make it so that it, like, it's key responsive or it's waterfall you know, flowing. Uh, there's a bunch of different options. You just have to, just have to download Techware's uh, software to do that. And uh, it's nice. I really like that feature. I think it's uh, got a lot of cool potential to be a lot of fun. We'll do a little type test. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a full one uh, at the end of the video, so you'll definitely be able to hear it for a more prolonged uh, period. Um, but yeah, let's do the keycaps that I ordered. Um, I got these keycaps off of Etsy, Manatech. <laughs> they included a little mint in their uh, <laughs> order, which I thought was quite cute. I held that up. Um, they also came with a keycap puller, which was nice. Um, yeah, I really, really like these keycaps. Um, I think they have a really great vibrancy to their color, which is fantastic. The colors are exactly what I wanted. Um, and they have, I think, about 10 to 12 uh, different colors that you can choose from when you order from them. And you can either just do all one color, or you can do primary, secondary, which is obviously what I did. Um, and besides just the look of them that I really like, I love the feel of these keycaps. I think they have such a nice texture. Um, it's rougher than the keycaps that came with the keyboard, um, but in a really nice, just like tactile way. Um, I really enjoy typing on this. I really enjoy uh, how they feel. And obviously, like I said, I really like how they look. And I think that they go so well with uh, the color scheme that I was going for, the whole Beetlejuice theme that I uh, decided to go with because... You know, that's the thing that's consuming my brain at the moment. <laughs> I 
All right, now let's spray paint the shroud. Um, as you can see, I had taped it off uh, with a bit of painter's tape. I did a very light sanding just to kind of help the spray paint stick. Uh, bonus dog content. I was trying to get her to shoe, but you know, <laughs> she does eventually. Um, I am definitely not an experienced sp spray painter. Um, you can see the little drips on the side there. I was holding the can too close for sure. Um, you know, live and learn. Uh, I ended up doing a couple paint, a uh, couple coats of the paint, uh, and that got some nice, uh, decent coverage. So I can't complain um, too much about how that turned out. Uh, I would maybe next time around do the painting a little different if I were to do this again, um, or do the, the taping a little bit different, that is to say, uh, because I kind of just put big old pieces on there and I really should have wrapped like each individual component of the keyboard. Yeah, you can see I should have done those, but oh well. Time to pull the tape off and see how they turned out. Ooh, ah. <laughs> but seriously, I, considering how, like, simple and, like, basic this was, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Um, you may be able to see, maybe not, uh, there definitely were, was a couple places where there was a little bit of bleed, uh, from the tape, and, uh, you know, I had a feeling that was probably gonna happen, and my, originally I was going to use some acrylic paint, to cover it up, but I ended up just using, again, just, you know, sanding away some of the excess paint, and look at it! It worked out perfectly. The, you know, the lines look pretty good, and in combination with those keycaps, I am just so pleased. I think it looks really good. So, you can see it here, uh, without the backlight, um, and the keys still look really nice. Yeah, I really like the light customization for this keyboard. I think it looks really nice. Yeah, I'm just really pleased with it. I think it looks nice and it feels nice to type on and I just, I really enjoy it. So for considering how overall like simple and straightforward this customization was, I'm just delighted. I think it turned out really well. The only thing I'm considering adding is maybe painting on uh, a little you know, a couple beetles either on the shroud or the keys, but I'll decide. I haven't uh, conf completely uh, committed to that idea yet. Um, just because my freehand skills are not super good, so I'd probably have to make a stencil. And then a little before and after shot, so you can really see the difference. And then a type test. I hope you guys like this content. Give me a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.